Hi, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Reggie Cox. I am from Labo Cosmetica, Milan, Italy. I'm here in uh, South Korea for an amazing tour this week for the Mafra Maniac line. And a um, pleasure to be here. I just had the best Korean barbecue of my life. And I can't wait to see what this week brings with all the fun we're going to have. You want to see, uh, oh, of course. Oh, you mean, ah, I mean, uh, oh. oh, dedication to the company. Oh. 3PH, a system born, one of the first things we made basically from Labo Cosmetica. It was a, a system that we were trying to make that was for the maintenance of ceramics. So the difficulty was that ceramics over time were dying. So the accumulation of minerals, so to speak, was deteriorating the performance of the ceramic itself. And this way we found a system that we can basically remove all inorganic and organic contamination from the car using only three shampoos. One of them is alkaline for the organic. The other one is an acid shampoo for inorganic and the minerals, substance and deposits on the car. And the third one in a neutral pH, the shampoo to mechanically wash the car. Now this system by itself, we tested for every ceramic around the world. This is a system we thought of before we started producing ceramics ourselves. Because all the other, I wouldn't say all the other, but most of the other give you the option of a topping product, helping the car be more again. So there was not a solution to remove the reason why the ceramic was disperforming or less performing. So this system was born about three years ago, out of my head. And two of them, the Purifica and the Primus, the alkaline and the acid, are a novelty, the first one. Since this day, nobody has ever manufactured something as beautiful and perfect as Purifica. So you can imagine that if you use something day to day, very easy, like first aid, the most simple thing is like an aspirin. So you can com compare the 2pH like an aspirin. And when you have, for example, didn't wash your car for a couple of weeks, or you get really, really sick, you move to something more special or a better medicine in this case, you would call the 3pH system like an antibiotic for the decontamination of the car. So to make it simple, for day-to-day -day easy, aspirin for the Maniac line and antibiotic for the professionals. Yes, if you have, so let, 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 let's make an example. If, it's, if we have a dry period, after the dry period there's rain, inside of the rain there's the sand. So the next day you come to your car, the water's been dried up and it's covered with this desert sand that's on the car. Now this is a perfect example to use the 2pH. You can immediately get rid of the sand and the minerals that have been left behind. However, if you wait too long and you let it saturate too long, the exchange will be more. And then of course the limit, because of the product itself, will not be strong enough to remove the minerals that have been accumulated over time. So that way you move to something more powerful to use the 3pH to get rid of the same minerals. There is a limit. Um, I would never go over 1 to 80, because uh -huh. if you dilute too much, the pH is going up as well. So if, for example, the pH is like minus 5 for an acid, and I dilute it over 1 to 80 to 100, it's not going to be minus 5. It's uh -huh. going to be 6, maybe closer to neutral. Uh -huh. Same goes with alkaline. If you go too much in the dilution, you lose the alkalinity, and you will drop down back to neutral, and then you lose the cleaning power, what you need to get rid of either with acid minerals or organics with alkaline. Yes, but the dilution becomes lower. So it's a 1 to 60 dilution in the bucket. So it's about 166 milliliters of product in the bucket. And for me as a Dutch guy, that's little less revenue. So I would either use it in a sprayer, atomizer or foam gun to get more effective. So in a bucket wash, for me, it would be too expensive because I'm not using the complete bucket. I'm only using a little bit of amount to wash the car. 90% of the water will still be in there and I'm gonna throw it away because there's contaminants inside and I can't reuse it. I would say the most basic car wash user, car, car, car wash person is basically the hobby line. Maniac is for the guys that want more, more upgraded, more, more variables, more interesting, more performance. And it's a, it's a desire. You know, a detailer is like, we all walk, walk, but we all walk a little bit different. So we put every, everyone puts left foot in front of the right, but some makes a little bit like this. So we have different styles. Mm, the Maniac line is to answer those styles. So there is a style for everybody. This will still be 100% pure professional, focused only on the professionals. 
And this will be a more generic public that want more than what the normal line can provide. So the real, there's probably a real reason from the factory why they did this. But in my opinion, I think when you create a system that is a full system for the detailing of the car to clean, to protect, to remove some issues, there is also need to be inside a real and tire cleaner. So we already have a very successful product. Maybe the diversity or the possible use of the product itself inside of the Maniac line has been upgraded a little. So as there is the product is ready to use and the wheel and tire cleaner gives you the option to dilute. Mm. So something for more contamination, something for day to day. Oh, <laughs> this. <laughs> so first off, there has never ever been a country in the world where there are more beats on cars anywhere. I've never been anywhere where there are basically every car I saw being washed the last couple of days and the last trips I made, every single car beaded. There were beads on every car. So the Korean customer is more demanding because he's already used to the greatest microfiber in the world, beading products, uh, the amazing culture. We do not, I've never seen self-wash units like this that provide you underwash, the possibility of the use of your own foam gun to bring your own chemicals. Most countries don't allow you to bring your own chemicals or they will make you pay extra to keep the car wash going. Um, the culture here is that people like driving clean more than anywhere else I've seen so far. Maybe in Japan, the people even like, similar to Japan, that they like to, it's a prestige object, the car. So that's why I love coming here because the demand is so high. So they don't take easy things for an answer. They want good stuff because their demands are higher. Now I think it's like when the availability of certain ingredients. So in Europe, we have different kinds of regulations. There are environmental regulations. There is a, a organization called REACH that certifies if you can move your product outside of the country, you have to apply for this. So you have to have, and the same goes for raw materials. I mean, Korean barbecue in Korea tastes different than Korean barbecue in the Netherlands. We do not have the same beef. The cows look different, it's, and it's impossible to transport it from there because it becomes too expensive. So we have to do what we can with the materials we have. Of course, we try to, in detergent way, we already have so many experience, but in coating world, there is much more to learn. So the beading, the beading culture, is upcoming. Uh, I think I'm going in my head now. I think the beading products are something from the last five, six years. Now I can imagine here in Korea, it's been a much longer. I can see by the products that they have been developed so far that the beads are already much more here. So the beading culture, so for people to understand that when a car is clean and it's well protected, it will beat. So they are now making the reference, if it's beats, if it beats, it's clean. If it doesn't beat, either the protection is gone or something is wrong. And this is something that's growing the last five years. This is also because of the development of ceramics. People are now getting used to all beads. Yes, right, I want them beads. Because I still have customers that see beads for the first time. So their jaw drops when they see their water is not touching the cars, just flying all over the place. For example, here in Korea, everybody's already used to beads. They only want more beads or beads uh, that bead longer. So Mafra coating, for me, one of the most important part is that we remove one ingredient that's going to be an issue in the next couple of years, it's the PFAS, polyfluoric alkaline substances. They are inside of plastics, they are inside of anything that's already beating from the production, like plastic, cellophane, these things contain this PFAS. And PFAS is very bad for the environment, it's very bad for your health, and PFAS is going to be an issue because there are more and more PFAS getting inside of drinking water, uh, in the environment. So we always try to move ahead of what something is going to be a problem in the future. So we already removed all the PFAS from all of these products. If the law, if the government's going to say you're not allowed to use this chemical anymore, then some of these products, if they contain PFAS, have to go back to the drawing table, have to be reinvented without that ingredient inside. It's like creating a product with sugar, but you're not allowed to use the sugar anymore, but you still want it to taste sweet. Of course, all the detergents and for so Primus Purifica Sempera, no-brainer, definitely, 100%. I would definitely do Derma, cleaner and sealant. So for cleaning and protecting the leather, very important, I would do that. Because Italians are unmatched in the car care of the inside. The, I will think you will see something very special be born on internet. 
born from it, Italy, a full cycle, maybe a three pH system for the inside of the car. Oh. I'm not going to tell too much about it because it's going to be so awesome that you have to see it for yourself. I would say that uh, it, soon to Cupido 2.0 is going to come. It's going to be an extreme upgrade compared to the old one. The ease of application is 10 times faster. It's even close to what we uh, did. With it. It's almost close to a quick detailer, but will still give you the performance of what you would have been used to with the old Cupido. And Perfecta 2.0 is the upgraded version of the original one. What we changed was the, we saw that some of the consumer users had issues with hazing. So we made the application even more easy but made a bonus for it that you can use it in direct sunlight, even in a very hot condition. So if the car paint goes up to 50 degrees, you are still able to use Perfecta 2.0. For Perfecta CO2, of course, at one point, you still need something like a ceramic detailer, something that provides those beads and gives that protection with deep gloss, mirror-like gloss. Now, it's a demand from the market that we provided through the use of Perfecta CO2. So in detergent line, 100% the products I just used. And in the coating line, I would say like Cupido 2.0 and uh, the Perfecta SiO2. Purifica 2.0 no. yeah. or Cupido 2.0? No, Purifica 2.0 is uh, upcoming. Okay, okay, but I can't tell anything about it. So uh, it's, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 it's, it's too secret, secret. Okay, I, got, I, got, I just thought of a little bit, but there is... Three products I know that's going to come out very soon. One of them is Narciso. It's a water-based ceramic coating. So not solvent-based with all the solvents and everything in it, but water-based. I tested it myself. Application is very easy and it will give you ceramic-like proportions, even in protection-wise. Duration also very long. I know they were trying to compete with a product similar to that's already in the product. I'm not going to name the name, but we already beat that very much. Another product is going to be, I'm not allowed, I'm, I'm, if, maybe I get in trouble, but it's a glass cleaner, a gel based glass cleaner. It's called Nitido. It's going to make glass cleaning something else. Because I always told people we are never going to make a glass cleaner because there are already 10,000 glass cleaners. And if it cleans the glass, it cleans the glass. It's either clean, streak free, so there's not much room. So we only want to make something that has never been made before. And that glass cleaner is something we've never seen before. It's crazy. When I tested it, Marco specifically told me not to use a microfiber, but to use a tissue. So I took a windshield, I sprayed in the windshield, and I cleaned the windshield with the tissue. And after I cleaned it, the tissue wasn't even soaking wet. And third thing is an acid-based wheel cleaner called Nobile. And that's something in between of an acid cleaner and Sidero, but has a wider range of applications. So if I'm bold enough to say, it could be something like an acid <clears throat> APC for the exterior of the car. Okay, I'm 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 have to be very careful. Very careful what I say right now. So I'm going to think very much. Out of my head, I think there are already 12 projects running for more than one year for something that's going to come out in the future. So we are basically working on something that is not even being invented yet, or something in the range of express my gratitude to the Koreans for allowing us to, or to, to be loved by this, that you guys love this. If you, you're already accustomed to so many beautiful things. So I think it's an honor to, for us to be here on the Korean market. I think that's a, a prestige to be here in the Korean market, to be able to provide these products to you guys. Uh, wait a second, last thing I, the last thing I want to say, the last thing I want to say. And I want to dance. You need to dance. Do you need to dance there or here? Here? There, dance. I love Korea! Hold them Gangnam style.